Sorry guys, my phone cut off. Um, right as I was telling you guys about the shampoo, this is um, going to be part two to my Dollar Tree haul today. Sorry about that. Hopefully I don't get cut off again. But anyhow, as I was saying, um, I just got out the shower for doing this video, and that's how my hair looks this way. It's kind of crazy, but anyhow, I used the Tressabella Tres um, shampoos that I got the previous time, one of the previous times at the Dollar Tree, and I really like it. Like, I can totally smell it. I love the smell. It reminds me of, like, salon, like I'm in a salon or something. I don't know. It And it also reminds me of um, the um, Tresemme um, shampoo. That is one of my favorite shampoos. So this is not a bad alternative to that. And so I got another one. This one is the Thick and Full Shampoo by the Tresabella. And it just smells... Let me see here. It just smells... I just love the way it smells. It To me, I, it reminds me of like a salon. I don't know if anybody else gets that smell, same smell, but that's how it I smell. And I love this stuff. So I'll definitely keep buying that shampoo as long as I have it. And then I got the matching um, conditioner. And let me see. Yeah, the conditioner smells really good too, but the shampoo smells the best. So yeah, I got those. I really enjoyed that shampoo. So I got those. The next thing I got was I got some more of the Barbie Detangler. Um, they changed the picture on it. The picture was it was pink before. But um, I have some of the Barbie Detangler from the Dollar Tree in my bathroom now. And I use it in my hair. It works really good because my hair gets tangly a lot. Especially after I wash it. So I got another one because I was starting to get low. So I figured I'd get another one. And it smells like cotton candy, and I just really like this um, detangler, so I got another one. And the next thing I have in this bag is, I found these wood shops. Um, this one is a birdhouse, it's in the crafty area, and it's all wood, and you use glue. Now, I don't know if this glue is non-toxic or not, but... I want to put this um, together for my hamsters. Now, um, I have done my research on you know these types of things and gluing them together before. And um, as long as the there's a certain glue that's okay for me to use, where it would be okay for them to chew on it if they did chew on it. So I don't know if this glue that it comes with is non-toxic or not. But um, I will find the glue that's not harmful to the hamsters and use that glue if that one is harmful when putting this together. Because I really think it's so cute. I probably will not put that metal hook in it on the top because I'm not going to be hanging it. Um, but I'm just going to put it together. Hopefully I can do it and stick it in one of their cages for a little hideaway. So yeah, that's what I got this for. So I got that. Okay, the next things that I got were they were starting to put a lot of their Christmas stuff out this time at the Dollar Tree, and a lot of it was going, was I don't know if it was just because people have been buying them up, or if it's because they were just putting them out so there wasn't many on the shelf, but whatever the case may be, I bought them because I was worried that they wouldn't be there later on when I would need them or want them. And it's the houses. I hauled the Halloween ones and what I do with these is I also use these in my hamster's cage as hideaways. I did this last Christmas and Halloween. I will continue to do it. What I do is, this one doesn't really have a door, but I will cut somewhere and make like a door that swings open and they love to go in there and um, sleep in there. I don't know if you can see in my hamster cages, I don't think you'll be able to see, but they have the the Halloween one in there, in this bottom cage here. They have, let's see, right about there, they have the one of the Halloween ones. And they love it, they always get in there and cuddle up together, so I got the Christmas ones for this year. Um, I, got, I usually get one of each and then they each get a different house. So I got this one that has a reindeer on it reindeer on it and it says reindeer behave while I am away Santa and then it says Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Santa's reindeer headquarters 
Comet Cupid, Donner Blitzen. And I thought this was so cute. It just looks like this. So adorable. And this is the smallest size that they come in. They come in like, I think they come in three different sizes. But I got the smaller one. In that one anyways. And then I got this one that looks like a gingerbread house. And this one doesn't say anything, but it's just, like, looks like this. And it's like a gingerbread house. So I got that one. And this is also the smallest one. Smallest size that they have. So I got that one. Then the last one I got, um, I'm probably going to need um, more of these houses because I do have um, like four different cage setups. So I will need at least one more. But I got this one. This was the last, this was the only one of this kind and it's like one of the biggest sizes you can get. It's, I don't know if you can tell here the difference in size. This one's like really big and then this one's like small. So I got, I had to get the large one, um, in this one just because this was the last one of this one and this one was super super cute to me um, has a door and then a, a snowman here and then the top looks like that super cute turn it around and it has that and it's just so cute I thought it was cute so I got that one and in the big one I prefer the littler ones but it was the only one they had maybe at another Dollar Tree I'll find a smaller one and I can do something else with that one but for now, that's what I got. So then the next thing I got, I was really excited about this, is this is, the, this is one of the things that I have been looking for for a while now, that I have mentioned a few times. I finally, finally found the last Christmas washi tape that I was missing. I knew I would find it sooner or later. My Dollar Tree finally had a bunch more of the Christmas washies out, and so I was able to finally get it. It's the one that has the, like, owl, the penguin, the reindeer, and it looks like that super cute so finally got the last missing washi tape i was so excited and then the next thing i have is i just got some sassy and chic toenail clippers and they are pink hopefully they work good um i i'm always constantly losing these so i decided i needed another one because i do not know where mine went so i got that the next thing i got is another one of the air wick fragrance um air fresheners and this is also um they call it cool linen but it's like the dried linen fresh linen scent so i got this one and it is a premium fragrance eliminates odors lasts up to an hour acts in seconds so i got that i was going with the dry linen thing today went buying the smelly stuff so yeah and then i have one last bag and the stuff in this bag is my favorite stuff um the first things i have in here are the christmas leg people oh my god when i saw these i gasped i just love christmas okay i am a big christmas person um i did my um halloween room tour and if you thought that was decorated a lot wait till you see my room tour that i will do for christmas I am a big Christmas person. I love Christmas. And unfortunately, I don't have any Christmas decorations anymore. We moved, and at our old place, I had all my Christmas stuff in a bin in our shed, and it rained, and all my Christmas stuff got wrecked. So I currently have nothing. So I have to start brand new, fresh this year with decor, and the only thing I managed to salvage was my Christmas tree. That's it and I'm hoping hoping that it works still so I do not have any decorations so I will be buying a lot but I was so excited when I saw these late people and of course I grabbed them up now because I was afraid if I didn't get them today they wouldn't be there so the first one I got was this cute snowman and he's holding a tree and he's got a scarf on he's holding a gift and he has his top hat and he's got his legs and he's it's just so cute so I got him. The next one I got was I got the reindeer. He is so adorable too. He is holding um, presents and he has his scarf on and a Santa hat and his legs 
and he is adorable. So I got him. The next leg person I got was this cute pin. Oh my goodness, penguin. He is so cute. He's holding a candy cane and a pumpkin. Or, oh my god. I don't know where I am tonight. I am sorry. It's late. Don't mind me. He is holding a candy cane, not a pumpkin. Oh my gosh. But he is so cute and he's got a Santa hat on and his legs and he's super cute too. So I got him. And then I have one more leg person, which of course was Santa Claus. And he is holding a candy cane. Oh, two candy canes, and he's got his Santa hat on, his little feet. And I think they had one more Christmas leg person, but it was an owl, and I'm not big on owls, but I might go back for him later on if they still have him, but those were the top ones that I really wanted to have. And then I got, of course, the bobbleheads. Um... These are the three that I saw. I can't remember if there was any more. I can't remember if they had an owl also or not, but I grabbed the three that I loved the most. I don't know if they had a reindeer one. Um, hopefully they have them still when I go back um, next Thursday, um, because if they do, I will definitely be getting the reindeer too, but I don't remember which other ones they had, but I grabbed this one, the little elf holding the present with his elf hat his cute shoes so I got him then I got Santa holding the Christmas tree he looks like that super cute and again the glitter I still have to try that trick with the hairspray and then the snowman he is holding a light and he's got his scarf on and a hat and he is just super cute my favorite Christmas um, character is Frosty the snowman I love Frosty the Snowman. That movie I watch every year. I have it on, I believe I have it on DVD. I just love Frosty the Snowman. So, I love snowmen. So, got those. And then the last things I have are some picture frames. I loved these picture frames. I saw them and I had to have them. So, um, Dollar Tree, if you, for a while now they've had well, a while back, I should say, they had different picture frames that said wolf and meow. Um, I have them hanging in my room somewhere, but you're not going to be able to see them. Um, but they had newer ones now. At least they were new to me. I've never seen them before. So I was really excited, and I wanted these ones. So the first one I got says wolf. And it has some paws, and it's to put a picture of your dog in. And I only got one of this one because um, I have a picture of um, my two chihuahuas, Rico and Elsa, together. So I'm just going to put their picture of them together in this one. And then I got the one that's for the kitty that says meow, and it has the paws. And I got two of the cat ones because um, I have two cats, but it's almost impossible to get a picture of the two of them together because... My cat Spooky is pretty sassy. She doesn't like to be bothered. She doesn't like any of the other cats. If they come near her, she hisses and smacks them. So it will be very impossible to get a picture of them two together. So I got them each their own. So yes. Um, the pictures I have in my older ones now, I will be using strictly for my two pets that are no longer with me. Um, my old, my, um, the dog one that I got, previously that looks a little bit different. I'll be using that one to put um, a picture of my dog Rascal in. Um, there's already one of him in it, but I also have other pictures of my other two dogs in it with his picture, so it's just going to be strictly his picture in that one. Um, he passed away um, this past February on the 2nd. Um, he was just old, and I miss him dearly, so I'm just going to put just his picture in that one, and then in my other one that's the cat one, I'm just going to put the picture of my cat Shadow in that one. And um, Shadow is a mystery to me. Um, we don't know what happened to him, where he went. We moved here. And um, sometime in July, after the 4th of July, a couple of weeks after the 4th of July, towards the end of July, he just vanished. 
I don't know where he went. I've gone to um, the um, Humane Society. I gave them pictures. I've looked in the book. Um, I've looked on Craigslist. I've, I just can't find him. I've looked around out there in my neighborhood and I don't know if he just wandered or got lost or what happened. Um, my hope is that some nice family somewhere has him. That is what I hope. So yeah, he's a mystery. I don't know what happened to him, but I'm going to put his picture to keep his memory alive in the old cat one and the picture of my dog Rascal in the old dog one to keep his memory alive. So yes, that officially is everything from a Dollar Tree haul and the rambling. I'm going to end this video here now, but I hope that you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. I found some pretty cool stuff that I loved, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to have another one Dollar Tree haul coming soon. So stay on the lookout for those. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody is doing well and has a beautiful day night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.